What's up guys, Barney from ProDirect Soccer here. Uh, another unboxing for you guys. I'm sitting in for Angus, who is currently sat on the train, probably heading to Twilight Book. He's travelling up to London with New Balance for the global launch event of these puppies. So uh, keep an eye on our Snapchat today. Also Instagram, as Angus is going to be chatting with a man like Joe Ledley and Man City baller Jesus Navas. As always on my right, I have uh, John, our product doctor. Morning guys. John will be on hand all day as normal to answer any questions you guys might have. So just drop us a line in the comments below. But first, let's get on to these bad boys. Little boot bag first of all. So this is the brand new Bizarro 2.0 from New Balance. Fresh, fresh out of the garage with a Typhoon colour update. Remember today, we share, if you share this video guys, we are giving away a pair of signed Joe Ledley Bizarro 2.0s. We'll be announcing the winners early next week. This boot is available to pre-order from today. The retail date is tomorrow at 9am. Uh, it is 160 in the FG plate. We've got the FG, here, FG plate here, which is uh, 155. You can also get the AG at 155. So there's been a slight price increase, but price increase. But as you as you'll come to see, there's loads of new tech and loads of new updates, which John will take us through. So it's definitely worth the extra buck. There's also kids kids available in the Vizaro. There's a £50 for the SG, uh, £40 for the FG and the AG. So New Balance are off in a massive collection across all kind of soul plates, that sort of thing. So great to see um, them giving us guys exactly what we want. So kind of player the Vizarro suits. It's those guys who kind of take for the field to one reason, and that's to create. They're sliding those killer passes, super confident on the ball, quick one-twos. Uh, so, first impressions, let us know what you think in the comments below. John, what are your thoughts? Very positive. Um, clearly see an evolution on the new boot. There's a nice, clean, streamlined look. Love the bold colourway that's going to stand out on the pitch. And really like the cool, um, bold, New Balance branding on the heel area. So, yeah, I mean, obviously it's the same. It's quite a bold colourway. I'm kind of more of a blackout man, but you're definitely going to stand out on the pitch of these. John, can you hit me with a bit more New Balance knowledge? OK, Barney, for me, great to see New Balance re-established in football. Although running's where they started, they're a proper all-round sports brand with a genuine football heritage. I'm old enough to remember some of the classic leather boots they produced in the 1980s when Brian Robson wore them. This was in the days before the Premier League when Brian Robson was up there for, for your English football fan along with the likes of um, Messi um, and Ronaldo are today. Um, I love what they did with the MIUK1, Made in UK1 boot that Aaron Ramsey's recently been wearing, um, especially the nod to the original 1980s boot with the sil silver heel counter. Um, I think there might be still some available, so do yourself a favour, guys, get, get, get your hands on those boots if you can. Um, are, they on, are they online at the moment? Still available? Um, I believe so, I believe there's still some pairs available. Cool, wicked. Cool, so uh, like I said, anybody who's copped a pair of these, let us know in the comments how have you been getting on with them. They're a massive hit at Pro Direct. Boys were absolutely loving them when we came out. Um, like I said, John said there's still a few available uh, on the site now, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Again, we're sharing share this video, guys. We're going to be giving away, giving away a pair of uh, Joe Ledley signed uh, Bizarro 2s from today's shoot. Um, on pitch wise, Aaron Ramsey, Welsh Frank Lampard. Not quite sure he's there yet. Uh, I'm a Chelsea fan myself, but yeah, he, he's definitely kind of that sort of mould. Hopefully he's trying to see him get a few more goals this season. Uh, Mal Anfellaini, do you see that thing in the paper about his haircut? Jesus loving it, on? absolutely loving it. I was, I was expecting like a completely shaved head, but yeah, tiny trim, curly hair, bare bunch, that man. Uh, and then, as we said earlier, Joe Ledley, beard game, 100. And the last definitely. most underrated player in the history of football, Johan Kabay, French legend. So, yeah, John, I think We'll all agree the new Vizarro is looking, looking absolutely fire. Can you give us a bit more detail on the construction and the kind of tech? Yeah, no problem. Like its predecessor, the Vizarro 2.0 is built on New Balance's Proform Lass. That's going to give you a precision fit, fantastic feel, complete comfort. They've got this one-piece moccasin upper, um, which seamlessly wraps the foot on the lateral side um, for an excellent fit and comfort. The Moldis Synthetic Upper um, features this embossed and debossed hexagonal, as the name suggests, hexaprene control and strike zones for passing, receiving, along with support where it's required. Um, you've got this ultra-thin polyurethane film top skin, which allows you to manipulate the ball exactly how you want. Um, on the collar, you've got this overlock stitching, 
kind of gives the appearance of having a, a sock-like internal construction like you'll see on a lot of other boots at the moment. While this isn't the case, it's really, really comfortable thanks to the fresh foam underneath the foot and the arch, um, giving you a bit more room for those people with a slightly higher arch, wider foot. And around the collar, um, there's no sock liner, um, exactly like the Under Armour Spotlight and Speedform. I currently wear the uh, Speedform. I can say that that kind of um, removal of the sock liner makes you feel closer to the ball, um, less bulk, etc. Big difference, one of the main differences really, is the addition of this fresh foam EVA midsole. Um, kind of in a similar way that ASICs have their Solite midsole on some of their boots. You get the kind of cushioned, um, more natural transition from your foot hitting the ground to the toe off that you'd experience in a running shoe. So that's really New Balance um, leveraging their running knowledge, bringing it into football. Great to see. This efficiency and comfort is important for the kind of box-to-box -box player the boot is aimed at. We've talked about before, average player running 10 to 13 kilometres in a game. So this, this cushioning, this comfort is going to be ideal for those sort of players like Aaron Ramsey that are running the game and running the pitch. You've got a lightweight an ergonomic TPU PU plate and nylon chassis. Basically the stud placement has been data driven. Um, the aim of that is to give you the most dynamic movement and traction possible. Okay. Tech for days. I thought we were doing a boot review, not a laptop review, but yeah. <laughs> New Balance clearly invest in time and effort into the Zalo Syro. As we said earlier guys, please share this video for your chance to win a pair of signed Joe Ledley Beard Game 100. Vizarro 2.0, Angus is up there today with him, so he's at the global launch with New Balance in London, so we'll be giving, a pair away, giving away a pair of those signed boots. Uh, just going to check over to the comments, see what you guys have been asking. Let's see what we've got on here. Just loading it up. Okay, yeah, guys, and make sure you share for the chance to win those signed football boots. So we've had a couple of questions coming in so far. AG, is there an AG plate? There is an AG plate available, yep, in uh, kids and adults. Um, another question that's being asked, I can see about the blackouts and the whiteouts. I believe there's a blackout and a whiteout to follow soon down the pipeline. So we've got some other questions coming in here. Price, we said it earlier, SG is 160, 155 in the FG and AG, as John's just mentioned. And the kids starting at 40 as well. Uh, apparently, apparently some guys have said they've kind of had some problems with the, the width. They're saying they're quite narrow, John. Um, yeah, we were talking about this in the um, office yesterday. Um, I tried them on myself in a size 8. I thought they were really comfortable. Another one of my colleagues who's got maybe slightly wider feet said they were a bit tight. So I would say if you're um, a wide foot, just bear in mind that the, the boot is it's not on the wide side. It's not totally wide. However, New Balance in this boot, I don't believe they, they do do whip fittings for some of their shoes, um, for the Vizaro leather, the previous one. But I'm, I've, as far as I'm aware, in this at the moment, there is only the standard whip fitting. But I can check back on that and put something on the comments today later on Facebook. So we've had a couple of queries in about the colour, the colourway. Um, some of the guys saying it's similar to a couple of other boots that are in the marketplace at the moment. So just to clarify, this is a Typhoon colourway, guys. So not sure what the colour's looking like on the, on the vid, but... It's definitely a more orange, point towards an orange colour in the red that perhaps some have suggested. So, like I say, we'll, we'll, we'll get some we'll be pictures we're going up across Insta, Facebook. So uh, check it out in a bit more detail. But it is definitely, definitely once you get your hands on it, a more orange kind of typhoon colourway. So, yeah. Uh, okay, fantastic with the uh, Arsenal kit as well. Yeah, one last question. They got what's the weight, John? That's the official. I think the guys are quite liking to know what kind of weight. What's the what's the weight on these? Um, boys? The weight's coming in at about two hundred and thirty-five grams, I believe. Okay. Um, Oh, all right, so that kind of sums everything up for the Vizaro. Now, we said we were only going to do the Vizaro unboxing today, but we have managed to get another... Well, we haven't. I say New Balance have managed to bring in another one for you. Uh, Here we go, you lucky people. <laughs> a few of you might have already guessed it. I'm going to give you a couple, couple more goes at it, but yeah. Furon. Is it new? No, it's not new. So it's a new, new colourway on this one. Not a new tech update. It's no new tech updates, but... Still one of my favourite shoes at the minute. So this is the Furon 2.0. As I said, just a new colour scheme on this one. Uh, it's called Alpha Orange, which I quite like that. For you alpha males out there. <laughs> yes, for the alpha males. So yeah, like I say, new, no, new, no new tech updates, but still an absolute rapid looking speed silhouette. 
absolutely love this boot. I've got the black hat ones that they released early, last year. Love the low cut collar. John, didn't they take this from, uh, was it from Athletics? Didn't they take inspiration? Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, I think you just got to look at the boot. Um, the upper certainly looks like a sprint spike. Um, very streamlined, very sleek. It's going to cut through the air nicely. Exactly what you need if you're a speed player. And you've definitely got this sprint spike inspired collar um, for this really good adaptive fit. Also, there's some top line lacing, really locking the foot in. You've got this hybrid mesh upper. Got to say, um, while we're talking about the Fuhrer, it's such an improvement over the first boot. It really can't be stressed that The Fuhrer on the first boot was good. This boot is a massive, massive improvement, a real evolution of the boot. Um, so you've got this precise strike with a hybrid mesh. You've got some great support from this uh, Phantom Fit cage. And also on the uh, sole plate, the ultra directional studs um, give you this kind of explosive speed in all directions. Nice. Yeah. So as we said, as it's just a colour update, the price stays locked at 155 in the SG. You've got the 145 in the FG. Uh, there is a full range across kids and accessories. I'm sure you'll see some of them on the table right now. And again, aligning with the Vizaro, it's available to pre-order now. Uh, retail will be tomorrow at 9am. So today, pre-order, retail tomorrow at 9am. On pitch, Furon, a couple of FIFA ballers as per, that's what we do. Alvaro Negredo, whip him in, double tap, downward header, goal, a simple, that's 101 FIFA. Kevin Morales, cut inside, shape at top bins. And then the little mid midfield maestro from Man City, Jesus Navas. As I said earlier, keep locked to the Instagram and Snapchat today. Angus is going to be with New Balance team and the boys in London for the launch event. So get your questions across to him. Uh, John, who's your favourite Furon baller? Okay. The great, the great, the great or Morales, what are you thinking? Um, for me, it's got to be Everton's Kevin Morales. Um, for me, versatile, great on the wing, um, all up top, fantastic pace, really, really handy in one-on-one -on -one situations, and exactly the kind of player um, that New Balance developed the Fuhrer on for. Right, so what do you reckon who's quicker, Navas or Morales? They're both supposed to be pretty rapid, what are you thinking? Um, to my mind, Morales just, just edges it. Yeah, really? Oh, I'm going to go Navas, so maybe we'll have a game of FIFA at lunchtime. Everything's <laughs> based on FIFA race these days. It's wrong. Uh, so, we have a quick few questions before we finish off, but a wrap-up for the Vizarro in three words. John? Totally nailed it. Cool. Uh, another question we just had come in. What do the foam bumps on the Vizarro do? Not the fear on the Vizarro we talked about earlier. The foam bumps? Yeah, so like the kind of like disrupted surface and the hexagonal. Here we go, let's grab it now. Okay, basically they're the, they're the strike and control zone. So you've got specific areas on the lateral and medial side for passing and for receiving and for shooting. Nice. Okay, so we said, like I said earlier, guys, both available now to pre order on site. They will be retailing tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, it is 160 in the SG for the new Vizarro. Again, new tech, new updates to that, so a slight increase in the price. The FG and AG are staying at 155. You've got kids available in that. Then we're looking at 155 for the SG on here and 145 for the FG, FG, which we've got in our hands here. As we said earlier, guys, please share the video. We will be giving away a pair of signed Joe Ledley Vizarro 2.0s. Uh, that's it for today. Let us know what you think of these videos. We'd love to hear your suggestions, comments. Think you can do it better than us. You might be able to get a good job here at Pro Direct Soccer. I'm not too sure. Continue to share, leave your comments. Don't miss out on any of our unboxings. All you've got to do is by tap on the three dots at the top of the page, turn on your notifications. I'm Barney at Pro Direct. I've been here with John. Cheers, Barney. Cheers, guys. Peace.